Hello, Victorians, and welcome to the free 1.3 update. Deploying alongside the Voice of the People DLC, Update 1.3 brings new laws, changes to the ways laws are enacted, revolutions, new leader ideologies, agitators, journal entries, map and culture reworks, and a slew of UI changes. New laws. Land reforms are now up for debate. Ranging from serfdom down to collectivized agriculture, land reform laws will shift the balance of power based on who owns and works that land. Be wary, though, some come with prerequisites. New in the Church and State tab, you'll also be able to find State Atheism, which will crush the power of the Church in your state. Under Distribution of Power, you'll be able to find the new Technocracy Law, hand control over your country to the intelligentsia and the industrialists, doing away with such niceties like democracy. Only the highly educated in your country will wield significant political strength, fully in accordance with Henri de Saint-Simon and Howard Scott. Under Single Party State, your leader's interest group will become the sole political party for when you absolutely need 110% of that vote. And finally, a new economic system is available for all you radical farmers out there. Industry Band will immediately hand significant political control of your country to the rural folk, give you a hefty penalty to new technologies, and destroy all heavy industry in your nation on the spot. And be warned, it will not be rebuilt if you change laws down the road. Law Enactment Changes Gone are the days of a single lucky roll dictating the outcome of a law. In 1.3, law progression advances through the drafting, amendment, and voting phases. The familiar success, advance, debate, and stall percentages remain, but you need to achieve a success at each stage. In addition, reaching a 0% success chance counts as a setback. Reach three setbacks and the law fails. A failed law cannot be revisited for two years as opposed to the old one-year cooldown. A government petition can occur when a new government is inaugurated. One of your new government's leading interest groups will ask you to pass a law. Succeed in the given time period and reap the rewards. Fail and that interest group will be very upset with you. If the time runs out, they will be removed from the government. Revolutions once a political movement becomes revolutionary, the revolution clock starts ticking. Once the clock fills, the revolution progresses and new events can fire. Additionally, in the political movement panel, you'll be able to see who supports this revolution and why. New leader ideologies will be available in the 1.3 update. Positivists, authoritarians, protectionists, humanitarians, and even Jacksonian Democrats, which are exclusive to the USA in the early game. Agitators. Political agitators are individuals who have a vested interest in the outcome of a specific law. Clicking here will allow you to peruse the list of agitators available in the world that you can invite into your country to help you and your political goals. Agitators might not always be to your benefit, though, and simply removing them from the situation might be the best option. Be careful, though. Exiled agitators can be used by other countries. Agitators can even be used offensively. Invite them into your country, keep them happy, and then send them home at an opportune time. New Journal Entries Heading over to the Journals tab, you'll be able to find a slew of new entries representing the Belle Epoque. Not just for France, though, generic variations have been added to other countries as well. Map Changes in 1.3, Algeria has been split up into four distinct nations. France has also seen some internal changes, as you can see here, between 1.2 and 1.3. And Tahiti is now a recognized country. Oran, Algiers, and Constantine have seen a cultural rework, and the Swiss no longer exist. But they have been replaced with two new culture groups. UI Changes Here you will find the updated Government Overview tab. 
Across the top, you'll find bars representing the different interest groups. Starting from the left, you'll find the largest interest group in your country that's part of your government, followed by every other interest group in your government in descending order, then the opposition, and finally the marginalized interest groups. In the center left of your screen, you'll find a quick overview of your current government, including legitimacy, your current ruler's information, and ruler interactions. Here we find a graphical representation of loyalists and radicals, both in total and broken down by interest group. Next, information on political movements in your country, followed by agitators, and information on your next election cycle. All the information on the screen is dynamic and changes day to day. Last but not least, in the settings you'll be able to find a new tick for striped occupation visuals to replace the country flag-based texture during war. There are many more small changes coming with 1.3. You can read all about them in the patch notes, or you can find them for yourself when this update drops with Voice of the People.